What causes atrial fibrillation? Well, there are multiple causes of atrial fibrillation, but unfortunately, the primary cause of atrial fibrillation is just getting older. Patients ask me all the time, why did I get atrial fibrillation? Implied in that question is, did I do something wrong to get it? Most of the time, they didn't do anything wrong. They just live long enough to get it. Atrial fibrillation is primarily an age-related rhythm problem. Every decade of life, the percent of people with atrial fibrillation goes up. When you hit your 50s, 3% of people have atrial fibrillation. When you hit your 60s, 7% have atrial fibrillation. When you hit your 70s, 12%. If you make it in your 80s, 15 to 20% have atrial fibrillation. And if you actually make it into your 90s, almost 30% have atrial fibrillation. So it's just an age-related rhythm problem. Here's the problem though. Because as your heart walls age, they can form these abnormal source cells we call atrial fibrillation that start to wake up randomly, take over control of your heart away from your normal source of electricity and tell your heart to speed up, causing all the problems we know about with atrial fibrillation. Once your heart walls get old enough that they start to form these abnormal AFib cells, every year you get older, your heart walls keep forming more of these AFib cells. And the more AFib cells you have total, the more walls they spread to, the more they want to wake up. The stronger they become, the more they want to be awake, the less they want to be asleep, and the more time you spend in atrial fibrillation. So one needs to think about atrial fibrillation as a progressive rhythm problem, almost like the way a blocked heart artery is a progressive problem. Heart disease is a progressive problem. We all know this. If you had a 10% blocked heart artery and we told you that your heart artery needs to be blocked 75% or more to cause chest pain, damage, and heart attacks, and you're only at 10%, you say, okay, fine, I feel great. It's no problem, just watch it. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. But if five years later, we say, you know, we found out that your blocked heart artery is 50% blocked. Are you gonna get upset and say, that's gotta be a lie? No, it was 10% three to five years ago. It has to be 10%. No, because you understand, we all understand that heart disease is a progressive problem. Then you would say, okay, well, I'm getting older, but I've got to watch my diet, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, all those various things, those factors that cause it to accelerate. You want to deal with those. You want to try to slow down the progression. Same kind of thing with atrial fibrillation. Aging is the primary factor, but there are things that can cause your atrial fibrillation to form quicker and to progress faster than just getting older. So what would might some of those things be? Some of the top factors would be anything or any problem that causes stretching or dilation of the walls of your left atrium, which is the walls where the atrial fibrillation cells develop. So poorly controlled high blood pressure, that's a big one, causes stretching and dilation of the left atrial chamber and that causes more AFib cells to develop and it starts waking up more and more and more. Sleep apnea is another big one because that puts a lot of pressure in the left atrium and a lot of people don't know that they have sleep apnea. It's probably underdiagnosed. So if you do have atrial fibrillation, I would recommend that you talk to your primary care doctor and get a screening home sleep study to try to make sure you don't have sleep apnea. And if the test is positive, go in for a overnight sleep test to really find out, do you have it and at what degree and how to treat it. So sleep apnea and high blood pressure are two big factors that cause atrial fibrillation to form. Other things that can stretch or dilate the left atrium, which by the way, is kind of what happens naturally as we get older. So that's one of the reasons why aging causes atrial fibrillation to occur naturally is anything that causes stretching and dilation of the left atrium, specifically valve problems. So your mitral valve, which is the one-way valve that allows blood to go from the left atrium to the left ventricle, and then closes shut so that blood doesn't regurgitate or leak back into the previous chamber. If you have narrowing of that valve, where it's harder and harder for blood to get through the opening, we call that stenosis or you have a leaky valve, what we call regurgitation, where the valve leaflets close, but they leak back into the previous chamber. Those can cause increased pressures in that chamber of the heart, and that can lead to more atrial fibrillation. So all of those are known factors that increase or progress your atrial fibrillation quicker than just getting older. Some other factors would be anything that causes inflammation of the walls of your heart because not only does the stretching of the walls of the heart 
cause atrial fibrillation cells. Inflammation can cause AFib cells to form and also intrinsic scar in the walls of your heart, which also promotes atrial fibrillation. So poorly controlled diabetes causes generalized inflammation throughout your entire body. High cholesterol levels can cause inflammation. So these are various things that you want to keep under control if you have that problem. Now, being overweight also is a cause of atrial fibrillation because it puts a lot more stress on your heart if you have to carry around a lot uh, more weight, if you're a lot heavier. And there have been studies that have shown that the further you are from your ideal body weight, and your ideal body weight is a simple calculation that you go online and you just plug into the formula, you plug in your age and your height and your gender, and it gives you the ideal weight you should be for your age, height, and gender. The further you are away from that, likely the faster your atrial fibrillation cells are forming and the faster it's progressing. And then of course, being sedentary, being too sedentary. If you take two people with the same amount of atrial fibrillation and one person goes to the gym three times a week and does cardiovascular exercises by running or biking and the other person just sits around and watches TV all day, the more sedentary person is likely going to develop atrial fibrillation at a faster rate than the more active person, which plus the more active person is going to have a healthier heart in general and might actually lead to lower plumbing issues as well. So these are the various factors that can cause atrial fibrillation to form quicker high blood pressure, sleep apnea, valve disease, specifically mitral valve disease, diabetes, being overweight, and being too sedentary. But even if you do everything right and you just keep living long enough, you could eventually develop atrial fibrillation just because you're getting older. And so therefore, you want to not add to that. You wanna do everything you can to control the things you can control. and. Getting older is something we can't control, so that's, you know, whatever happens with that, but you don't want your atrial fibrillation to progress faster than it otherwise would progress because you didn't do what you should have to control the risk factors that you can control or modify.